Hey, hey, everybody. So we're going to look at programming languages used in the most popular websites. This is something I found on uh, Wikipedia and it was just updated, I think, yesterday as I'm recording this. So it's up to date. So it looks at some of the most popular websites in the world today. Now uh, we have at the top Google.com, Facebook, YouTube, Yahoo, Amazon, etc., etc., etc. So what I want to do is I want to look at the distribution of programming languages used in these super popular websites. And I think it's going to give us some insight into how effective a programming language is, how serious a programming language is, right? Because some people look at certain languages and say, oh, it's not serious. It can't, it can't work on big projects. So we're going to look at that and we're going to consider you know, what these big boys are doing, because you figure Google, Facebook, YouTube, Yahoo, Amazon, Wikipedia, Twitter, Bing, you figure these guys, they know what they're doing, right? They get the most traffic in the world. So you got Google.com with by far 1.6 billion unique people per month. Now, if you look at this first column here uh, after popularity, you see the front end or client side programming language. And you see, of course, this is uh, JavaScript. Everybody uses JavaScript. So there you go, JavaScript, you know. Front end, everybody uses JavaScript, that's it. But that's not what's interesting here. What's interesting is the back end. So let's see what they do with the back end. Now, just in case you don't know, front end is like the web browser. You know, in the web browser, you have code that lives in the web browser. That's HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. Once upon a time, for those nerd history buffs out there, Microsoft had put out uh, well, Internet Explorer could run and process something called VBScript, uh, but nobody went into using VBScript. Everybody just went to JavaScript. So anyway, so uh, let's look at the back end. The back end server side technologies for these top sites is what I'm interested in here. Let's start with Google at the top. So you see that they use C, C++, and Go. So C, C++, you know, they're using the, these languages to do some of the heavy, heavy lifting, right? C, C++ are the fastest running languages out there by far. Then you got Go, which is Google's language, and Java, of course. What you're going to see, by the way, a little sneak peek, you're going to see that Java is so widely used uh, in terms of uh, web apps and websites on the enterprise, meaning for very large corporations. Java is serious. Java is serious. Ah, look, they use Python, of course. And to my great surprise, they actually use PHP, which is uh, HHVM. That's the Hip Hop Virtual Machine. Why they call it a Hip Hop Virtual Machine? What does Hip Hop have anything to do with programming? I have no idea, but <laughs> that's what it's called. If you don't know, the Hip Hop Virtual Machine is just basically Facebook's uh, version of uh, PHP. It's super fast PHP. I'm not going to get into details, but that's what it is. It's a Facebook technology. It's open source. Anybody could use it. Anyway, so there you go. The most popular website in the world, Google, uses C, C++, Go, Java, Python, and PHP. And I, to be totally honest with you, I was surprised that Google used PHP. Crappy PHP. Google doesn't know what they talk. They don't know what they're talking about using PHP. So it must be just, it's just, it's just Google, right? They're just the, the the programmers at Google. They're just the guys who don't know what they're talking about. That's why they're using PHP. But so let's just move on to smarter programmers. Facebook. Let's see. They use Hack. They use PHP. Oh, oh, geez. Well, I kind of you expect Facebook to use PHP, right? Uh, Python, C Java, Erlang, D, XHP, and Haskell. So that's interesting. But again, you see uh, PHP, Python, and Java, and C++. They're consistent between Facebook and uh, Google. So let's look at the YouTube. C, C++, Python, Java, Go. So uh, again, C, C++, Python, Java, Go. That's interesting. Now, Yahoo, PHP. Hmm. Let's see, Amazon, Java, C++, Perl, Wikipedia, PHP, and Hack. Hmm. Twitter, C++, Java, Scala, hey, somebody's using Ruby, oh my. So you got Ruby there with uh, Twitter. Bing, C++, and C Sharp, of course. Bing is, of course, Microsoft, so they're going to use C Sharp with .NET. eBay, JavaScript, Java, well, Java, JavaScript, and Scala. I assume that the order of importance here is there. MSN.com, Microsoft.com, of course, are going to be using C Sharp. LinkedIn, Java, JavaScript, Scala. Pinterest, Django, 
Django. Well, that's a Python. That's a Python web framework in Erlang, and of course WordPress.com. 240 million losers. Uh, PHP. But if you look at this next chart here, you see the uh, in green. You see where a particular language is being used. So you see, for example, uh, start on the left. C++ is being used by Google, YouTube, Facebook, Yahoo, Amazon, Twitter, Bing. So that's one, two, three, uh, five, six, seven lang seven sites use C++. The most popular, of course, is Java. If you look over to the middle of the chart, you got uh, Java is being used by Google, YouTube, Facebook, Yahoo, Amazon, Twitter, eBay, and LinkedIn. JavaScript on the server side, this is server side, of course, most popular website server side. JavaScript is not used too much on the server side relative to C++ and Java. Yahoo, eBay, and LinkedIn, in terms of the most popular websites, these top 12 or whatever it is. What's interesting, if you look at, um, you look at PHP, look at PHP. PHP is used by Google, it's used by Facebook, it's used by Yahoo, it's used by Wikipedia, it's used by WordPress. Now, if you look at um, Hack, which is basically a PHP derivative, it's also used by uh, Wikipedia and it's used by, of course, uh, Facebook, who invented it. Python is used by uh, Google, YouTube, Facebook, Yahoo, and Pinterest. So Python is used by five of the top uh, 14 sites. PHP is used by one, two, three, four, five as well. So you can see... In terms, Ruby is used in two of the most popular websites uh, listed here. So as you can see, um, Java is the most popular, followed by C, then it is PHP, and then it's Python in terms of, you know, the top sites in the world. So what can you take away from this? Well, you can take away from this that all those software developers who tell you that PHP is a joke and PHP is... Uh, can't be used in large systems, the data doesn't support that, right? The data doesn't support that. Besides the fact that PHP is the most most widely used server-side programming language in the world, probably mostly because of WordPress, but it's used all over the place. It's also used in the biggest, how many of the biggest now? Five or six of the biggest 14 sites in the world. One, two, three, four, five. Five of the top 12 or 14 websites in the world in terms of traffic use PHP. That's interesting. Same amount use Python. You see Java dominates on the uh, enterprise, as I've been saying for the longest time now. And of course, C++ is used a lot as well. And again, C++ is being used to probably do some, some heavy duty processing in the background. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, that's pretty much it. Ciao, ciao.